We have an update in this video. Phil Spencer commented if Call of Duty will be Xbox exclusive or not. We are witnessing history. You might want to just put forget about your kids and hide your wives real quick because god damn man i went to bed i was sleeping i uploaded a reaction video had the schedule and a lot of you guys were like yo oh she oh she why you're uploading this you gotta make a video on this and i just woke up and come to find out that when candy crush and call of duty become your actual job microsoft and activision blizzard i mean damn okay damn yeah, they got modern warfare 2019 out here because you know Modern Warfare 2022 will be coming out this year. Bro, nobody saw this. Nobody saw this. Uh, shout out to the homies for adding me in the situation. This is a massive, this is a bad news day for the Sony ponies out there. And listen, I play on Sony ponies. I, <laughs> I play on the Sony pony platform. Does that mean I gotta buy an Xbox now? I'm probably gonna get the controller if I cannot find because scalpers, they're out there doing helicopters with their willies. And right now, the the Xbox players out there beating their chest. They're out there, yo, they're... My guy, like, the Sony ponies are down right now, okay? Like, why are you gonna kick us down while, we, <laughs> while we're down? Listen, man, I lost all interest in Call of Duty, all right? I love this franchise, but as of recently, I lost all interest. And seeing this news, I genuinely feel, as somebody who plays on Xbox or, or PlayStation, I genuinely, genuinely feel like that the game is gonna change for better all right and xbox microsoft or phil spencer came out from xbox microsoft like that and he started talking about will this game be exclusive for xbox or not and yep he made an official uh, confirmation and it's more of like yeah we'll, we'll see okay we'll, we'll see this daddy phil spencer this daddy has caused destruction everywhere and i will be talking about that we're gonna be getting through that hit, hit the subscribe bell we cover news reaction videos let's go for two likes on the video this news is wilder than johnny sin's movies so much so that breaking news new york times came on microsoft agreed to buy the video game maker activision blizzard for 68.7 billion it's the largest takeover ever hey, hey. and a big bet on the metaverse so they're actually going in gang gang style with the metaverse listen man we're not talking about your uncle giving you like ten dollars okay we're talking about 70 billion billion we're, we're, we're not talking about your uncle giving you ten dollars so you can go ahead and buy like a twinkie or two 70 billion dollars i would like to assume that this is going xbox exclusive right uh, obviously in the past they bought the test for seven billion dollars people were shaking people were going bozo people were going crazy and rightfully so because seven billion my guy like it, it takes a while to make like a hundred dollars you know what i mean and these mo mo truckers out there mother truckers out there just doing that like it was nothing okay activision has faced accusation of doing easter eggs un un unwillingly without consent and discrimination this is what i don't understand phil spencer was like you know things gotta change and things <laughs> things gotta change at activision and he just pulls out his wallet 70 billion dollar okay no problem we're gonna buy Activision. This is wild, bro. Nobody saw this coming. Or maybe Charlie until knew about it. Maybe Charlie until knew about it because you can see this throwback to last week when I guessed the price correctly. Let's go. Danny on PC was like, buy Activision out. Hostile takeover. That she and uh, Yeet, Bobby, and the rest out. Charlie until. Lol, Activision Blizzard would be 60 to 70 billion purchase. Said six days ago. That's all she wrote. And today, check this out, man why why you did not tell me i could have actually bought uh, bought, <laughs> bought the stock at 57 and right now it is at 82 and it was at uh, 100 like uh, like a year ago obviously the news came out stock went down and this news came out stock rising up they're making money they're doing helicopters with their release right now and also activision blizzard ceo bobby kotick has sent out the following email to the company today he says that the deal is expected to only close in june of 2023 meaning activision will remain independent until then and what this means is that till 2023 the games are going to be coming out on playstation as usual playstation is going to be having the exclusivity rights till then and maybe this year we're also going to see one year exclusive mode like we always see right with playstation one year exclusive mode for modern warfare 2020 to this year and then next year the games might it might be the flip it might be the flip maybe the 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 whole call of duty as a franchise will be 
Xbox only. It's gonna be a bad move in a sense where, because everybody, there are a lot of people, not everybody, there are a lot of people on PlayStation, okay? If this game becomes exclusive on Xbox, they're gonna be losing a lot of money. VGC also came out, and I know, like, this is... People were going crazy over on Bobby Kotick. People were like, yo, you are making $200 million a year? Get the F out! You remember that? That was back in 2020. Bobby Kotick now could be making over $350 million from Xbox Activision Blizzard deal. This is oh, him right now. Oh, this shake. is him shaking. My guy, just... Listen, man, I genuinely feel like that Bobby Kotick, obviously this is allegedly, I'm giving my opinion right here, I genuinely feel like, <laughs> feel like that Bobby Kotick made this deal as a last resort because he knows that everybody's on his neck, everybody want him to get out, rightfully so, obviously, he wanted somebody to be killed, he wanted to assassinate one of his employees, I mean, I don't even want to get into that story, so, you know, there was a lot of shiza that went down. He was making like 150 to 200 million dollars, everybody was talking, even the stock investors, even the investors were complaining about him making a lot of money. That was crazy, right? And guess what, now he's making 350, he just doubled that, he just doubled that sucker up. 350 million dollars, are you out of your mind? I mean, listen, man, the rich gets richer, the poor stay poor, that's how it goes, okay? If he leaves, he'll absolutely be gobbled up by some other publisher, Shadley. Wherever he goes, he's gonna cause destruction, but he will make a lot of money. Now, I genuinely feel like that the reason this is happening is because Activision is under a very bad light, okay? The games are not doing well wherever you go, okay? This is not my opinion. Everywhere you go, everybody's talking trash about Call of Duty, okay? That's just global. That's worldwide, okay? We worldwide up in this mode tracker, okay? <laughs> Cannot say that word on YouTube, but listen, man. I genuinely feel like that the reason he also sold uh, the company is because he wanted people to stop talking about the past and uh, focus on the future and maybe make it so there is less talk about what happened in the past with the with the Easter egg situation at Activision, the, the, the misconducts and the accusations, the allegations and whatnot. Wall Street Journal says that Microsoft CEO approached Activision in November about the deal and Phil Spencer said he would only acquire if the workplace situation was improving and he was like yo we see the progress that they're making that was pretty pretty fundamental to us deciding to go <laughs> forward here Spencer this is breaking news the Wall Street Journal says that their sources have told them Bobby Kotick will leave Activision Blizzard once the Microsoft deal closes and everybody's going off W but I'm I'm looking at this I'm like guys yeah, like listen man that that situation is gonna happen in 2023 he's just buying time he's really buying time and by 2023 there might be another loophole there might be another situation that he can exploit there might be something else that he can rely on I, i'm just saying maybe i'm uh, maybe i'm low iq you, you never know right uh xbox phil spencer and this is really good news but again though like we're talking about 70 billion dollars i don't I, I i have a hard time believing this okay but this is official Xbox Phil Spencer to Bloomberg, and I quote, I'll just say to players out there who are playing Activision Blizzard games on Sony's platform, it's not our intent to pull communities away from that platform, and we remain committed to that. That is really good news. That is really good news, meaning that uh, Call of Duty is gonna stay on PlayStation. Maybe there will be exclusive deals, maybe DLC is gonna release early on Xbox, maybe there will be like a one-year exclusive mode, maybe they will keep zombies uh, exclusive on uh, on Microsoft or, or on the Xbox, maybe they will keep multiplayer exclusive let the, the the campaign be out on playstation vice versa nobody knows what's gonna happen but 70 billion dollars we're not talking about like you know you we're not talking ten dollars where you can go out buy a twinkie or two and come back home and be like yeah man they, they, they tasted good we're talking 70 billion dollars guys that is a lot a lot of money man that's a lot of money okay but click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there just click it man you're gonna 